LR Saturn though actually runs at somewhat playable frame rates. We what? could actually show that. Yeah, we can show that off. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because it, it's actually somewhat playable. So, like, if we get like Batsugan. Yeah, and so what's been really exciting, right, is that, um, you know, we've added in um, uh, another emulator uh, developer as an affiliate. Right, and he's been working on this with um, the standalone developer. The standalone developer. You would never get that on an LR. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, no, that's fine. That. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool, right? So he's, we've actually got the standalone emulator working uh, developer working with us, and now we've also got um, the Libretro working with us. So this is really cool that we're gonna be able to see some hopefully vast improvements for um, the community at large. So this is exciting stuff okay so what's good about uh, uh see i see it's at 2x now so I change it to original Look, it's actually playable. See what I'm saying? LR Yabashiniro Yabish is actually playing Saturn now. And I did, it's never played it this good. I just did an update earlier, about three hours ago, from Source. And holy crap. What the? Oh. All right, so I'm very happy right now. Definitely um, some good stuff here. Once again, this is not the standalone version. This is the LR version. That's what's scary. Yeah, and I mean them working together and coordinating. Um, that should be pretty Hold exciting. On, I game, huh? Yeah, we can let's uh, we can do one more. Um, we can do like one more game on here, and then. Um, I was going to suggest we check out um, 3DO, I think. Um, oh, yeah. I haven't tried any of the 3DO since since we got that. We can try Galactic Attack. Yeah. Let's try that. I mean, I think it's pretty cool that, you know, you know, with the forming of partnerships with the developers and stuff like that, I mean, this wasn't even – we weren't even talking about this on a single board computer until until uh, we, we brought some developers over to work on this stuff. So it's pretty cool that uh, – that we added in this system at all. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, you know, I've said it too many times in the past, but we've just been really blessed to have some really awesome people out there in the development community be willing to work with us and drive drive forward and, and push forward on performance enhancements, improvements, and, you know, playability and just bring so much more of a great experience, right? Because... You know, one of the things, let's face it, there's a lot of development out there for Android, for example, right? So there's a lot of stuff that runs really nice on Android, but then you don't get the customizability that so many people like. And, and Android, you've really got to know a lot more, and it's more of a walled garden. Um, yeah. You know, so this is, this is right. definitely exciting. Okay, good. So that's good. Yeah, uh, I didn't expect it to play. That's crazy. All right, so you, you wanted 3DO, right? Or did you say you wanted to die hard first? 
Can you? I would, I would yeah. like to see Die Hard. I'm, yeah, I'm we can do Die Hard quick and then and then roll over. So while you're doing that, of course, right? I mean, obviously we know that um, when it comes to N64 that uh, the XU4 can run Conkers. So seeing the performance difference already just with Cruise in USA. Now granted, N64 is one of those oddball ones where every game could be different on how well it runs, right? But mm -hmm. the cool thing is we're obviously not going to go in to show it, especially because the lead time to get into gameplay is just astronomically terrible. Everybody you know, we can make to have a save state. <laughs> yeah, we, we can make some healthy assumptions that as time goes on, we definitely should be seeing at least the same quality, most likely better. And and that's one of those golden eggs, right, for a lot of people too, just like God of War is and um, mm -hmm. Cruising. Yep. Cruising USA, etc. Okay, come on, let's play. Holy crap! That's good. Fully man. playable, dude. <laughs> fully playable. Whoa. Holy crap! Saturn is fully playable on the LR core, dude. That's awesome. Holy crap, Amundo. Yeah, somebody's happy here. This just happened too, because it wasn't like this two days ago. I just did an update. You you, you saw me in the in, in Discord, uh, trying to get everything to compile right, and they updated it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's already beaten XU4 for Saturn, and that's on their core, not just the regular default. You know, the, the standalone core. And now that That's I have awesome. Saturn pads, I'm going to be able to map that. Holy crap. Yeah. And the LR core is actually, so man, you, I mean, you know, we get it running going good on the LR core. There's a lot more. It's when you a lot the, easier uh, to tweak. What are you using yeah, I wonder for, if, like, for game pads there? What are you talking about, uh, Q? Are you talking about your um, I actually, yeah, I had, um, um, Game Straight 81 gave me the uh, Sega Saturn, uh, the official uh, Sega Saturn controllers. Okay, the you know, new the, ones uh, that are coming ones, out. The new ones, yeah, the new ones. He gave me a clear one and a regular one, and, and they are seen by RetroArch and they are seen by our our stuff. So now, because they're part of LR and LR Yavashiniro works with uh, Saturn, that's going to be a big selling point. Try way at a warrior. You. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to? Please you not. Got to. <laughs> you got to. How do you not? <laughs> All right, fine, go for it. <laughs> Wait, the warrior. It's the best fighting game ever made. Okay, take your word for it. <laughs> I'm a little skeptical since it's on the 3DO. So I was done by Naughty Dog. Yeah. Well, and that's what Maybe they were saying, right? Is that um. When you look at gaming historians or whatever, they're saying that um, there are some out there, most of the community is absolutely shocked that Naughty Dog was even able to continue on and come out with some of the, the great games that they have after this game came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that guy. Yeah, Naughty See, I don't know if that's full speed or not, because it's. Well, how's the how's the music sound, Q? That's uh, let me turn it back. Choppy. Up. Yeah, that's always been like the telltale thing, right? Or the yep. yeah, it's choppy. But yeah. let's see what let's see what options we have. Uh... I uh, don't have many options. Uh, threaded DSP. That would that would be your one. And yeah, it's that's on the only one that's on. Yeah, and high resolution you can turn off. It's not going to make yeah. any difference even with that. So it's not going to make any nah, difference. Nah, it's not going to make a difference. Yeah, so yeah, so it's pretty slow. But let's see, like Wolfenstein. That's something that we know that does work. So it's good. Uh, but really... you know, for the record, for the record, that doesn't work on any any board. So. Let's try Wolfenstein. Yeah, I think that's you know been kind of the the uh, 
skeleton in the closet with 3DO emulation anyway, right? It, it's always been the audio is something that you have to constantly mess with to, to tweak. Yeah, and development. I mean, we have somebody working on it also, but development is scarce on the I was going to uh, say, yeah, it's not a popular. So. It's, it's like Jaguar. It's not popular enough to... But now it's starting to get a, a you know something, so at least now we have people that are at least working on it. Mm-hmm. So... So it's getting better. But I can tell you right now, there's no problem with the sound on Wolfenstein. Yeah, I think the... On the XU4, there's popping at the beginning, even when it's in sync. Okay. There is not here. It looks good. Oh, it's it's actually perfectly butterly smooth. Now the... You know the the one thing about the the emulator itself is that the developers actually doing more right now with cleaning up a lot of code and everything on the back end. So, right. you know, he's done a fair amount for us in the last several months to kind of get things going. I believe multi-threading was um, yep, coded in there, and, you know, and everything. But yeah, he said that he's got a, a lot of focus that he needs to do. For the emulator on the back end to clean things up as it is since he took over formally uh, from oh, yeah. the previous and development. Listen, at the end of the day, it's not easy work. No, this stuff is this stuff is crazy. There's an occasional stutter and sound, but I think that's actually more on um, on the actual quality of the rip. But I'll say one thing, there's a lot of screen tearing, but that was on the actual original version anyway. So I'm already lost. Well, we can try road rash here. Smooth. Yeah, that's all right. It, it is smooth, yeah. One of the ones I've been curious about, uh you know, we can check out Road Rash for sure, but one of the ones that I had always been that I really wanted to get into playing through was the Wing Commander games, but I'm not so sure if there's even solid compatibility for that in the first place. I don't know. We can try it. No, yeah. I wouldn't. Don't even bother launching into it because it's it. it's similar Four to our intro. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's yeah. a huge intro. It's got well, Mark Hamill and everything else too. We'll probably get hit with copyright. <laughs> so, Super Wing Commander doesn't have a long intro though. That's true. Is that on the 3DO? Yeah. Gotta play. It only came out on the Mac and the 3DO. Oh, okay. <laughs> Q, you got to play uh, P-O-E-D. No. <laughs> <laughs> I still hear some choppiness on certain things, but it's... Uh... Ah, never mind. Hold on. Oh, never mind. It's catching up again. So, yeah, there's still some dips, but... Like I said, it's like all of a sudden it catches up, and then I don't know if it's like switching to another quarter or something. I don't know. See, like it'll throttle real quick, and then it'll work perfectly fine for like 30 seconds, and then throttle down. But that's just something that we'll have to have the dev look at. So. So yeah, let's do uh probably the weirdest game. It actually gets good once you get inside. Once you get inside, it actually gets okay. It's, it's actually it is playable. Weird, it is a very, very strange game. Button mappings are a bit fun, right? 
Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's see what we Have got. you ever seen this game, Adrian? Uh, I've heard of it. I don't think I, I think I might have fired it up once or twice on the X24 <laughs> during the death thing. <laughs> Has he got like a hammer in his hand? He's got a frying in his hand. It's a frying, frying pan, pan. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. 